but it looks like they're so tied up with each other that it shouldn't be too much of a task. Until, oh, until obviously I take out all the hyenas. In fact, maybe I'm doing this, I just realized I'm probably going about this all wrong. I should be using the hyenas as a distraction to beat the lions. Which is what I am now going to switch to do. Oh, see, nah, yeah, see, hyenas, come help me. I think those lions, oh yeah, okay. Go after the hyenas. Go after each other. There we go. There we go. Oh, evade. Oh, we're gonna get, yes, there goes a lion. And there goes another lion. Well, I may have kind of messed that up, but I kind of did it right, too, so... I got the idea, I guess. I mean, that's what's important. I got the idea that you should probably use the hyenas to distract the lions, and not the lions to distract the hyenas, because that would just be stupid. Oh, and a gift! Maybe it's medicine. Oh. You know, Stam Jerky's not a bad item. I will not... I'm not about to piss on hospitality. Stam Jerky is actually a pretty fantastic item. In survival mode, it really helps you fucking get away and hide from shit. Like, when you really need it. But, it looks like we're getting to that point... Oh, come on, turn around. Here we go. Oh, whatever, it's too late! It doesn't even matter, it's one freaking hyena and I'm like freaking out about it. Except now, one hyena becomes two, two becomes three, and so on and so forth. I can't count beyond three because seven of my fingers have been chopped off and I don't have my socks off. If seven of my fingers had been chopped off and I'd been playing this game as well as I am, which, like, I'm not playing it amazingly well, but I'd say I'm, I'm playing pretty well for somebody with seven other fingers chopped off. Like, seriously. Let's be honest here. Not a lot of people can handle this well with seven other fingers chopped off. And since I do only have three fingers, I'd say I'm doing a pretty damn good job right now. With the goodness of truth. Because truth is definitely what I'm telling about this whole finger situation. Well, that's for sure. Dude, I'm wondering... Oh, this might be... Oh, no, no, this is not... But this looks like a big fight. Oh! And there's the king of the jungle. There's the lion king. <laughs> I guess, I mean, technically, the hyena is... Oh, whoa! Did I get a... It showed the animation for me getting a successful kill, but I don't think I actually got one. Dude, is the Lion King fight really gonna be this simple? I mean, this doesn't seem to be overly challenging. I bet what's gonna happen though is right after I kill every everyone in the world, the Lion King is gonna be like, I'm after you. I like the idea of the Lion King not being like a, a Lion King, but a King of Lions. And it doesn't really matter what race it is. I mean, as long as he's the King of the Lions, he is the Lion King. Oh, he's gonna run? Oh. Oh, but he's running to his... Dude, this is his crew. Oh, look at this. This is like his main, mean team fighting machine crew. And those guys, do they have army helmets? Oh, yeah. Dude, this... This is his crew. His, like, he's actually like a weakling, and his crew is where the money mayhem is at. Okay, that didn't that didn't go half bad. In fact, this guy's almost dead if I just... Yeah. And But this guy's kind of destroying me. Dude, these are... I was about to say zombies, but it's because these hyenas kind of are looking a little zombified. Like, am I the only person that thinks those tattered clothing they're wearing kind of looks like they have, like, revealed flesh and stuff? I want my health to start recharging before I go do the final battle. But like I said with my original theory, I think the final battle is actually going to be easy because it'll probably just be the boss and he'll be like, Oh, I'm sorry. I surrounded myself with stronger guys because I beat the lion and they thought I was a much better fighter than I actually am. Is that what he's gonna say? What? Why is this saber-toothed tiger... Okay, this is just bullshit now. A saber-toothed tiger is listening to this stupid little... Ow, that move was cheap as fuck. I keep on expecting this to be like one of those fights. Let's just fight him head on. Fuck this shit. Oh, nope. Oh, wow. Look at how much... Like, the second I get up, he just starts going at it. Dude. Oh, that move sucks! Dude. There's gotta be, like, a sweet method for battling this thing. Okay, I'm just kind of expecting to die at this point. Actually, wait. 
Oh, that's what I have! Oh, I can't run out of this fight. Okay. Oh, dude, when he does- if he does that move and misses, you can, like, kick his booty. Cool. Oh, man. Alright, well, maybe it'll spawn me not at the beginning. Please, not at the beginning. Okay. It spawns you at the sa- okay, that would be so annoying if it didn't spawn you right at the saber tooth tiger fight. This fight's gonna be a bitch. Alright, I'm just gonna- dude, I'm just fucking going at it. I don't even give a fuck. Although, really, the trick is to dodge his big move, like, to- to just dodge when he does the gigantic move, and then he's fucked. Alright, do your gigantic move and see if I can actually dodge right. He's not gonna do it. Oh, and I missed. Dude, but if you dodge when he does the big move, you're, like, in the gold zone. Ooh, check! Oh, like, look at this. He's, like, so open revealed when you dodge his big move. That's, like, where the trickery is. All right. And then he'll come at you some more. Oh, crap. This is what I wish I had actually saved the, the stam jerky for when I actually understood it. So he does a little twist when he's about... Look, oh, there it is. Wait, I did it! Oh, I was out of stamina. I was like, why did I not get the dodge? And then I- oh, dude, he's just- this is cheap as fuck. Look at this! I don't even have time to recover! Oh, that was like cheap, cheap shitstorm. Alright, do your move some more, and I'll dodge it. Except for I won't actually dodge it. Do it. Do it, I dare you. Do the spinny move. Don't- oh, there we go. Oh, check this. If I get it with this much health, I'm gonna be so surprised, but I'm gonna be honest, I never, on my channel, I rarely, like, get into situations like this and then magically make it out. Like, it's just not the magician that I am. Oh, do the spinning move. Oh no, cause see, I'm gonna die, you know what I'm gonna die of? I was like, I'll die of hunger before I actually do this fight right. Dude, this is by far the shittiest fight I have done in this game yet. Because this stupid saber tooth tiger is a total bitch. I hate it so much, but I really... It's just... I want to kill him. And I found out in the last time, in my last attempt, you can't... Oh, crap. He's doing normal moves. Dude, normal moves are what's fucking me over now. I found out in my last go that you can't eat the beagle for food. Like... So you have to do it before your hunger runs out. And that was my mistake last time is I took way too long because he wasn't doing his move. There we go. And I died of natural hunger. It was like the stupidest death ever. I was so pissed. All right. Do, just do, just go straight into the spin move, man. You know that's, that's the move that does the most damage. Why don't you just do it all the time? Probably because it's also the move that allows you to die. Spin. I wish there was like a way to know that he was going to do the move. Do the move. Do the move. There we go. This is kind of working out, but my hunger gauge is going down at a reasonably quick pace. I feel like I got I got about two spin moves left in him. Maybe three. It's looking like three. I don't know. Let's just really go at it this time. Just put my nose right into his butt. Spin move. One more spin move, man. I'm hungry. I want to eat you. I want to eat you. Look, you're only delaying the inevitable, which is me dying, <laughs> not you. Urgh, I want to eat you! Oh, get it right. I was like, if I get it wrong on this one, when I'm all out of hunger, and this thing is finally going to maybe... Oh, come on. Get him. Get him. Oh. Whew. By the way, I think that took me like seven attempts. I'm going to cut out most of them, because I don't think you want to watch me do that over. It gave me pet medicine? That means they still intend to have... Where am I supposed to be going? I guess this is him. That means they still intend for one more tough fight, maybe. Let's see. Maybe this guy's the hardest guy of all. Oh, no! What? Oh, he does have a lot of health, but it looks like he's just gonna be a pretty traditional fight. Oh, except for... No, he's not a traditional fight at all. This guy is rough! Oh my gosh, I'm already using this pet medicine that gave me. This is so... Dude, this guy's gotta have like a trick. Like, maybe I can get him to charge me. 
and then like do it like the crocodile fight maybe I don't know except for the fact that dude, once he gets you like oh oh you can get him this is like the crocodile fight you can dodge him long enough to get him tuckered out except for he can run a little bit no you can run a little bit faster than him I think but once he catches up to you you're fucked fuck 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 get tuckered out damn it well I'm definitely gonna have to fight the saber tooth again I really hope that's not what you get for failing this battle is having to fight the saber tooth again. That would fucking royally suck. Run now and it will haunt you for the rest of your No, it won't! <laughs> It'll haunt the game for the rest of my life. Not me, though. Fucking get tired. Alright, I just went and got the other pet medicine first. I'm just gonna fight him straight up, face to face. Take all the hits. Dish out as many hits as I can. Like, just screw this. Just eat the medicine when I need it. And just do this like old school. Do it like two freaking bosses of former packs just going at it. They don't even care anymore. They're just like, I hate you. You took my land. I'm gonna beat your freaking face in with my paws and my thumbs are getting way too sweaty for this. My thumbs are getting way too sweaty for this. It's like, uh, when people are like, I'm getting way too old for this, except for my thumbs are just getting way too sweaty for this. My thumbs are getting way too old for this sweatiness. And you know what, if we do it this way, then when he finally gets tired... Oh, crap. That's not what I want to do. We can just beat the crap out of him again. Dude, we're not gonna win this time, but I think... I'm on to an okay strategy. Unless he gets tired one more time, I might I might have this. Get tired. Oh. Oh come on. Just just get the hits. Get the hits. Yes! Ooh, you that took me like five tries. Except once I got it down, I was getting the Saber Tooth Tiger every single time. Saber Tooth Tigers ain't got shit on Tosas, but apparently hyenas do. The Beagle's Uprising marks the opening act of a bloody tale. The tale now comes to a close with the death of the hyenas and the Tosa's triumphant return. It all began the day the Beagle snatched away that Mawashi. With that, they wiped out the pride, an order given uh, to the Yokonuza by mankind. But in fleeing from that tiny enclave, the Tosa saw the world and came to know its scale. For the first time, he donned the Mawashi of his own will. The Tosa now stands vigil over Shibuya as a true Yokonuz Yokozuna as he will forever. That was a good ending! to that storyline, or maybe that's the whole story. No, I don't think that's the case. But anyway, I'm really stressed out because I had to do that fight so many times, which I cut them all out because there's so much work. But anyways, this has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.